Okay, hello. I'm trying to show you what I did to finally update my AAA uh, TMA2 H10 um, headband. And the description I found on the web page uh, from the manufacturer wasn't really quite what I had to do. Um, so I asked the support and they suggested something and then I just tried everything that I could possibly try. And then finally it worked. So what I did is, uh, you have your TMA H2 connected to your iPhone. Uh, this only works with iPhone or iPad because you need the, the iOS app that they have built. And then what you're going to do is first that you are going to ignore the device, just to make sure. And then it's not there anymore. Then you press the uh, volume up and volume down button on the headband for a few seconds and then it will enter pairing mode again okay so that's what you do you will find the device here again and you reconnect it now it is connected to your iphone okay now you do that again you set it into pairing mode again by pressing the volume up and down button now siri is annoying me uh, but I don't have a question. So now it's it's flashing again, you can see. And it's flashing fast. There are different uh, speeds to this. This is the fast mode. And now it says that it's not connected. And that is how this sh should be. Then you go into the uh, TMA, H, you go into the app of uh, the headband uh, from AAA. You just have to... Um, just search for AAA in the, in the iOS app store and then you'll find it. And then you go in there and now we can press next and you need to wait a little bit. And after a while it should ask to pair, as you can see, it asks to pair them again. I'm German, so you see it in German. I just press pair and now it will pair it again and now you will be connected and then there will be a button to update but I already uh, updated it so I don't need to do this anymore but that's basically what you need to do you need to I, I don't know if you have to ignore it in the beginning but just to be sure um, deconnect it from all of your Bluetooth uh, of, uh, wherever you have paired it just deconnect it so that will only connect to your iPhone then then you go into pairing mode once, you pair it so that the connection is there, but then you enter pairing mode again. And when you enter pairing mode again, then you go into the app and in the app you then select this and go to the next button so that it searches and then you press on pairing. And if you know that this uh, dialog pops up, then it finally found it and then you pair it. And then it should finally have both uh, of the things right because somehow there's there's something wrong with the pairing. It, it seems to be connecting twice, and I, I don't know what it is doing. But you kind of yeah, you have to do it this way. Otherwise, it won't work. And yeah, now then you just turn it off and on again, and then it should work. Updated. Okay, cool.